right guys check it out we got a new toy this thing looks awesome so it's a dodge ram so we uh we got a we got a ram in here finally i think i can't remember we might have one at the shop or we might have rebuilt one but at least we got a ram 2500 heavy duty she's got a hammy in her boys 6.4 liter she's also a power wagon and so this is the this is the best thing actually you can use this truck you can customize it if you ever want to do logs and stuff that i thought that was pretty cool uh, and then we have here the uh, the rollback. We have the flatbed here, which is going to be perfect for repos. All we're going to do is pull up. Here, let me jump in it. We'll pull up. We'll extend her down. And then we'll just go ahead and back up, get underneath there, hook up, and then lift her in. So this is going to make us a lot more versatile. Obviously, we're going to use this for, you know, smaller things. We still are missing the, the big rig, but... I feel like this is we can get rid of our old crappy truck it, it was kind of authentic and cool and it worked don't get me wrong it worked but this thing is taking it by storm we have a winch up here just in case we ever get stuck I don't know why we would but you know we might get in sticky situations and then I think here let's see here what am I here I think the creator I want to shout him out oh it's Winston okay so this is Winston's truck awesome truck uh all right is there any Oh, the front end. Oh my goodness. Let's go. So we can see the engine here. That is so cool. It's so detailed. You have every, I mean, all your big things. Obviously, it's missing little things and stuff. But for the most part, like, name one thing that's, like, missing. Obviously, <laughs> there's a few things missing, but it looks pretty good. There we go. So, yeah, there's the engine. I like it. It's so detailed. Oh my goodness. It's so clean. Is the washer there's the washer fluid i was gonna say like where's the cap for the washer fluid i was trying to look at all the caps is that where's your oil cap somewhere anyway yeah it has the washer fluid you see the battery everything is in, okay uh so that's x let's actually see all the controls real quick i haven't uh open hood is x okay we can fasten we so we do have uh straps there so yeah not a super loud truck but it still sounds like pretty good can i kind of not really maybe when we get going here so we're gonna head back to the shop guys we actually have a few calls that are gonna be out of town in ravenport so that's gonna be a lot of fun we're actually going over to ravenport here today for two of our calls i we're questioning a third one we don't know if the bank's gonna come through with it or what's gonna kind of happen oh i haven't even looked at the interior kind of weird interior it's almost i don't know what kind of pattern that is it must uh it just looks like really crusty at least the seat looks like it's got like the wrinkles and in, in the creases like it's seen the sun a lot but the dash i'm not in the console i'm not really sure what's going on there but still pretty cool interior i mean everything's working the gauges you know a truck is good or a mod is good excuse me when the gauges are working that's kind of my demeanor on if something's gonna work like look the rpms and the speed so cool and i think they're yeah it's not like they're together it's actually it's perfect so awesome let's go okay it's been a while since we've been to the shop and so we made a few changes a, few, a little little bit of changes there's the train we better slow down there we go it should lift up actually guys i didn't touch the brake the whole entire time i just let go of the gas and it perfectly stopped that was pretty that's pretty nice so if you guys do enjoy repoing please let me know by hitting the like button and uh yeah we're gonna see what we kind of get into over over in ravenport that's gonna be kind of exciting it's gonna be very exciting we're gonna be getting out of here i the town isn't that big uh but it's only like a 30 minute drive over to ravenport so it's not too bad all right so i think i'm just gonna be taking the ram actually i just kind of want to introduce it to the shop here and i want to pick up a few things from uh from my toolboxes here i i want to make sure that i get all my tools there we go open the drawer nice okay not up there i don't think i'll be needing i should probably bring it i'll, I'll bring my tow rope just in case let's see are we missing anything from the back here nope looks good and yeah so we're heading out over to ravenport let's jump in the truck we're gonna head on the interstate and then uh yeah we'll make our way over to ravenport it's 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 pretty close 30 35 minutes shouldn't be too bad i'm gonna take it nice and slow this pickup is used it's a 2017 but it i'm not gonna complain about it anything i got it for a good price and so yeah the steering's a little weird but not too bad it's quick should be able to handle it and the bed i was going for this kind of size so i think we should be good and i like the all black kind of matches our theme so i'm gonna get on the interstate guys it'll be about 35 minutes and we'll be over in rainbow all right so we're just getting uh 
pretty much getting into i think i saw a sign back there that said we're into ravenport so we're i believe these accounts i have, I have it on my phone i'll i'll get a better coordinates on them but yeah we're heading in to ravenport i actually haven't been in town here for a while hope you guys do enjoy and let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy me switching maps i actually think it's kind of fun and and it's super realistic and it's pretty fun so let me know what you guys think of it and we are heading yes so we're heading into town here go ahead and open up the map all right so the first one i believe like i said i haven't been here in a while i believe holy cow these guys are slow uh the first one's coming up we actually won't make it into town it's on uh it's on the docks actually this is a coastal town and i believe it's by like the port grain elevator the one that the barges come and hook up to and stuff and so that's pretty cool and there we go okay so here we go we're getting closer to the port you can see the dock over there all right here's the elevator all right so we're looking for a red a red dodge ram 1500 all right so let's pull in here we want to be very careful obviously there's gonna be workers all around here when we pull in okay i should probably it's kind of hard to drive it here it's really close uh okay no a few cars over there people are gonna see us pretty quick and realize kind of what's going on okay some more cars over here okay where does everybody park uh so we want to kind of be sneaky even though we're just kind of pull it in here looking for a red dodge ram 1500 okay here's another office building there's a car right there okay it's got to be somewhere over here oh there's something red there we go all right that's the truck i'm, I'm gonna pull in here okay that's an office building there's no way the guy is in, in there or at least like around here all right the, the train's coming by so oh, oh oh that's actually perfect here he won't be able to hear me back up uh check the van we're good license plate good truck looks good all right we gotta make it or break it there we go there we are we're lowering it down uh let's oh nope don't want to press that button let's see one thing i want to try and do nope oh my goodness those are awesome holy cow those are cool okay i thought i could do this uh there we go all right it's kind of loaded up kind of sketch all right there we go we're pulling out okay go over the train track slow all right we're gonna go back the way we came again so we have two actually vehicles and i probably should have came with another guy uh one of our workers but we're gonna head back we're gonna drop off the 1500 then we're gonna come back and we have something super exciting i, I don't i don't want to spoil it for you guys just yet but let's go head back up the road here on uh on highway 242 Okay, we got super lucky there. That train was so nice. Uh, so, so that pretty much just masked the the sound that we were giving off by obviously like backing in there. And yeah, he didn't come out. So we got his truck. And yeah, I'm really curious. So we bid it. So a lot of these are just open bids. So we went on to the, to the website and we can just place a bid. We usually try and go low. We're new, trying to establish ourselves. And sometimes we win it, these bids that are kind of way out of town. And so we usually we usually take them because again we're, we're new we're trying to establish ourselves as you know a good business uh and get our name out there so we'll probably be doing a lot more kind of long distance repos like this and i i think they're kind of fun i like to get out and drive see new sites and pretty cool coastal town so i gotta go run this back here real quick guys and then we're gonna go we'll come back one more time and we should be good so i'll see you guys when we get back so we're cruising down the highway here going about 60 mile an hour and yeah we got the 1500 she seems to be holding just fine uh i thought 60 would be a decent you know amount of speed for us here so we're gonna head back let's go ahead open the map see how far we are away like 45 seconds away to a minute out go ahead and tell the shop to to have the gates open hopefully they sometimes they forget to open them or sometimes they prank me so that like i have to actually open them but yeah we'll, we'll call ahead and they should be they should have them open for us when they see us at least so there we go let's head back here just a few more turns probably should have took a little slower on that one all right where's the train where's the train we don't want to get smoked here oh uh, i think we're good there we go slow it down over the tracks perfect all right now we're pulling in here there we go they should have it open now and then yeah the this was a this is gonna give us a pretty this is a pretty nice truck so it's gonna pretty give us a pretty good dollar for us we did we did bid it pretty low but i'm i'm happy with it and again we're trying to establish our name like we made money on this but obviously some people just don't think it's worth their time some some companies okay they forgot to open up that one companies don't think it's worth their time uh to do this and i do uh so that's always good we want to come in here try and penetrate the market with our low prices which is always a good way to do it. 
our low rates there we go let's go ahead back up here and maybe no and there we go we'll go ahead and detach so there we go she's off go ahead and get the bed back on and then we're gonna have to run right back to ravenport again this i'm so excited to show you guys the the car that we're gonna be repoing this is uh i feel bad for repoing it it's 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 that nice it's that like well taken care of i don't understand why the guy he must have financed it and i so this is like a custom car you guys will see uh the guy looked like he put like fifty thousand dollars into it probably plus that insane never seen a vehicle like this and i'm actually pretty nervous to repo it i guess the lambo uh aventador the lamborghini aventador was probably worth uh more than this but it's just so much hard work and care put into this you know custom vehicle that i do kind of feel bad repoing it but we gotta do what we gotta do and let's go ahead head back to ravenport it's uh another 30 minute drive i'll see you when we get there all right there we go we're back in ravenport like chasing this elevator like trying to race this elevator he should slow down in the wait so did i just say oh whoa, 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 whoa. no we gotta beat it we gotta beat it let's go okay guys sorry i said i think i said elevator uh we were chasing we were racing the train thank goodness i beat it there that was pretty that was pretty cool not gonna lie that i thought that was pretty cool uh so we're heading back into ravenport actually we're about to run out of runway there uh here let's go ahead head in town i'm not very familiar with in town here we're gonna have to kind of just eyeball it i gotta i know it's uh it's close here so there we go there's a shop said it was just south of the shop so we must have just passed it let me loop around and uh yeah well i should probably go a little slower it's 25 mile an hour speed limit i'm going 35 let's knock her down a bit so uh our direction said i don't actually have a perfect address for it they just said it was south of carlos's like that's the big shop here in town uh -huh. All right, let's look around real quick. Yeah, that, that train, that was pretty crazy, not gonna lie. So, just south. So, we just came up that road. Let's go this road. Uh, did it? I asked them, like, a little bit southeast, west. No, they just said directly south. So, like, one of these houses. All right, nothing over there. All right, guys. So, what we're looking for is a custom Dodge Charger. It's an older one. It's, like, insane. I saw a picture of it when i see it like don't worry i know I'm, i know what i'm looking for when i see this thing it's pretty crazy so let's keep looking here okay that house is good i think there's something in this driveway right here all right we better oh there it is there it is there it is there it is let's go okay uh yeah that's i'm not even gonna check the vid number because that is a unique vehicle you could say okay we gotta be careful here all right, there we go. Go ahead, low down, or er, there we go. Perfect. We got the bed back in place. Okay, I'm not gonna gawk at the vehicle right now. We're gonna. Okay, so we got her loaded up there, strapped down. Once we get onto the interstate, I'll pull off. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I keep saying okay, but <laughs> okay, we're out of there. Perfect. I said it again. There we go. Okay. No cop. No stop. We're gonna keep rolling here. So I'll look at the charger here in a second. Oh my goodness. I can just see it now. It looks so good. We need to get out of here. And make sure that nobody's coming for us. There we go. Go ahead, take a right, get back on the interstate, and then we're gonna pull off, and we'll we'll kind of check it out. I'm pretty interested in this thing. It's uh, I feel so bad again. I feel so bad for repoing this. It's such a nice vehicle, not as expensive as expensive as the Lambo, but still, the guy put in a lot of work. You can tell. Like I don't even. What is this? What is, what is that? Is that an engine or is that like a like a rocket? It literally looks. The black thing looks like a rocket. Like I understand. Oh my goodness. I don't know, dude. I feel like this is from like back to the future or something the the oh there was the there was the train again i feel like it's the vehicle from back for, to the future and like it's gonna fly away here any second this is insane so i'm gonna i'm gonna pull off right here actually there we go all right let's check this thing out let's make sure everything's strapped on it's kind of hanging off the edge a bit dude oh my goodness you'll just jump up here well i have no idea what this is it's it looks like it's a I don't even like a tachyon amplifier or something. I don't even know what this thing is. Like a rocket conversion and then exhaust goes out here. But why does it need to look? I don't know. Can we look in here? Let's get inside of it real quick. All right. Th yeah, this feels this feels like a spaceship. I Look at that thing. It looks like it's a plane. It's literally a plane navigation system. Like you see this in video games and, and on TV all the time. Look at that green thing is like altitude. Like, is this thing supposed to fly? Okay, I accidentally turned her on. There we go. Turn her off. Uh, and then let's, let's head back onto the road. 
there we go we gotta head back to the shop dude this thing hopefully the guy just accidentally missed maybe he's out of town or something and he just misses payments i don't know dude i feel so bad hopefully we can get it back to him uh it's not gonna be cheap but hopefully we can get it back to him once he goes to court and stuff so there we go unfortunately we got another repo on here well not unfortunately but it's uh i feel bad for the guy it's a nice vehicle very nice vehicle there we go we got a straight away let's head over back to uh back to our shop estancio lapaccio that's not how you pronounce it but that's how i like to call it and i'll see you guys back there all right again so we're picking up roughly where we started last time i just thought that would be a good point and and yeah we are good to go it stayed on here just just then the 1500 in my opinion so that's really good yeah the ram the ram was kind of tricky but this is this is a wide car but you know just obviously not as big as the truck so there we go and yeah dude i, I guys what do you what do you think of this this is insane absolutely insane i i just i can't get the dash i can't get this like nuclear receptor thing in the back that's about to like blow up any second it's like a rocket boys i don't i don't know i don't know so we're heading back to the shop i always like the look of the shop when we're kind of pulling in i'm gonna throw this one i'm gonna probably throw this one with a lambo in the back we'll kind of see but i actually just got word that there was a bid from my receptionist. She usually does all the bidding work. Uh, called me. She always is hunting for bids and stuff. And she says that there is a, uh, a guy named Bill. Bill. And they actually gave us his last name too. Bill Peterson. And uh, so I think that's Wild Bill. Uh, he, some of his vehicles were matching like the description of way back when. When we had to repo him. So... Guys, I don't know. Be on the lookout for... We might get that bid. I'm going to actually go run inside real quick and go talk to her. And hopefully we can uh, work some out on the bidding. But, guys, we might get Wild Bill. She's like, yeah, dude. If I she was, she was on the phone with me and when I was driving. I was like, you really think this is him? And she's like, yeah. So, be on the lookout for, for Wild Bill in the future. And I guess his last name is Peterson. So, we'll, we'll have to take him out there. There we go. Go ahead back her down. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up today's episode. Hopefully you did enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go throw this in here. Again, hit the like button if you did. Comment below what you thought uh, or what you do think of the uh, the 2500 here, the, the rollback. I, I think it's pretty nice, and it's going to be a good addition to our setup here. So, And be on the lookout for Wild Bill. That's going to be a fun one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you all tomorrow.